Hey everyone, I'm Jerry James Stone, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to freeze butternut squash. Let's get to it. I love butternut squash. It's something I cook with quite often, and so having it on hand when you want it is great. And I love having that fresh butternut squash on hand. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to properly freeze butternut squash so you can have it any time that you want it. So to begin with, you wanna use fresh squash for this. So in order to do that, how do you peel a squash? Well, I like to use the microwave method. Basically, you poke it, you nuke it, and then you peel it. So just cut off the ends, poke it a lot with a fork, stick it in the microwave for about three minutes, let it cool, and then peel it with a vegetable peeler, and that skin will come off really easily. Once it's cool and you can fully handle it, go ahead and start cutting up the squash. Now this is the part that's really important and requires a little bit of thought. So. I prefer to cut my squash into about half inch cubes because that sort of applies to all the things that I cook with butternut squash. You can use any side that you want. You want to do two inch cubes, perfect four inch cubes, whatever size that you want to do will work. Just the thing that's important is when you're cutting up the squash for freezing, it's important to have those pieces be equal so they'll cook or bake evenly. So just think about how you use butternut squash, what your preferred way is of using it, and that can sort of dictate what size you want. I find half inch cubes, though a little bit laborious, to be the perfect size. So take a baking sheet and line that baking sheet with parchment paper. And then after you've chopped up the squash, you're gonna transfer it to the baking sheet. You wanna have a nice even layer and mostly make sure that the squash pieces are not touching. It's okay if they're touching a little bit, but you want them to freeze apart and not in a big clump. So it's nice to have a good even layer where they're separated. Place the baking sheet in the freezer overnight and then once the squash is frozen, just transfer it to a freezer safe Ziploc bag. Be sure to write the date on that bag because you only can keep squash frozen this way for about six to 12 months. After that, you're gonna wanna toss it. And that's everything that you need to do for freezing butternut squash. Like I said, this is a great way to have butternut squash on hand whenever you want it, especially if you buy it in peak season when it's really, really flavorful and sweet. It's perfect for soups or chilies, whatever you wanna make with it. Anyway, try this out, let me know what you think. If you like to cook like I do, I release new videos every single week. If there's something that you wanna see, hey, drop a comment, let me know. I'm always looking for inspiration. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you guys next time. So the first thing though, is if you're using fresh squash, squash, I cannot speak today. <laughs>